In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a common issue that you might face when using man in the middle F to target real computers connected to a real network. I'm going to assume that you're connected to the same network that the target computer is connected to. You know the gateway IP, you know the target IP, and you're basically running everything correctly, but man in the middle F is just not working. So I'm gonna run man in the middle F here against my Mac OS machine and I'm already using its IP and for me LAN 0 is already connected to the same network that the target Mac OS machine is connected to. So I'm gonna hit enter. And you might get an error like this saying that it couldn't resolve the MAC address of the gateway. Just run the command again. And as you can see now the command's working. Now, if this got executed correctly, the router's MAC address here should change to the MAC address of LAN 0. So let's see what's the MAC address of LAN 0. We're gonna do if config LAN 0. And this is its MAC address. So if we do IRPA here, the MAC address of the router should be that MAC address. And as you can see now, the MAC address in here is still the same. It's still not the attacker's MAC address. So that means man in the middle left didn't really work. Let's try to go to bing.com. The page is loading. But again, if we do IRPA, the MAC address is still the same as the old MAC address. Now, if man in the middle left doesn't work, you might experience different issues on the target machine. So sometimes the internet will work as you can see, but the MAC address doesn't change. Sometimes the internet will not work, but the MAC address change. But basically man in the middle life will just not really function properly. Now, sometimes if you give it a minute and come back, you'll see that the MAC address changes. And as you can see here, the MAC address actually changed to the attacker one. But now if we go, and try to do something here, let's just search for anything. You'll see that the internet connection will be lost and if we come here, we'll be getting DNS errors. So again, the problem could be different but the bottom line is, man in the middle life will not work. Now if you're having similar issue as me, so you're using the right IPs, you're on the same network as the target and you're connected to the target network using LAN 0 and man in the middle of is not showing any errors, it's just not working or it's showing the DNS error, then follow what I'm gonna do now. Disconnect your wireless card, connect it again, then we're gonna go back to devices we're gonna go back and connect our card here. Then I'm gonna wait until the card gets connected to the same wireless network. So you can see that it's still connecting right now. And now it's connected. So if we do if config, it has an IP on the network. The last thing that I wanna do is if you look at the if you look at ETH0 here you'll see that it's connected. So we're actually connected to a virtual network and that's what's causing the issue. So since we're not targeting a virtual machine, we're going to disconnect ourselves from this virtual network. To do that, we're gonna go to devices, network, and we can see in here the network adapter is connected because there is a check symbol in here. So I'm going to click on that and that will basically disconnect ETH0 from the virtual network. So if I do if config now, you'll see that ETH0 does not have an IP address. So we didn't really do anything. All we did is we made sure that the Kali machine is not connected to any other network other than the target Wi-Fi network. Now I'm going to run the command again, exactly the same command that I ran previously. And we're going to come in here. And we'll do IRPA again. And you'll notice that the MAC address is still the same as the proper MAC address, the router's MAC address. So I'm going to give this a minute and it usually takes about 50 seconds for me 
for the changes to reflect in here. It could take shorter or longer time to you, but it usually never exceeds a minute, a minute and a half. So I'm just gonna wait for a, a minute and then I'm gonna run ARPA again. Now I'm just gonna refresh the page cause that's gonna generate some traffic and it'll update the ARP tables to the new entries. And as you can see now, the MAC address has changed to the MAC address of the attacker's machine and now the attacker is successfully in the middle of the connection. Now let's see if we can actually sniff data in man in the middle left. So I'm just gonna run test in here. And as you can see, we're capturing data. So I'm gonna try to go to hotmail.com. And then I'm gonna log in with a username. I'm just gonna set it to test at hotmail.com. And then I'm gonna set the password to one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we come here, you'll notice that we managed to capture the username, which is test at hotmail.com and the password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And this data was entered by a real physical computer that is connected to a real Wi-Fi network. So again, man in the middle left works against real computers and real networks just as effectively as it does against virtual machines. The only thing is that you wanna make sure that you're connected to the same network that the target person is connected to. You wanna make sure that you're using the right IPs and make sure that the Kali machine is fully isolated. So it's not connected to any other network other than the network that you want to target.